What's up again guys, Brian here at 3 tr I'm here to share with you my official review for South Park The Stick of Truth. Now, I would just like to let you guys know that in terms of overall story, if you've watched actually some of the episodes, I believe there's an episode or two that kind of deals with like the modern cons console wars that kind of leads into this game. But you're pretty much playing as your own customizable character, which you can make yourself look any way you want. And you're the new kid in South Park. And apparently all the other South Park characters are playing a somewhat imaginary version of it's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons and Lord of the Rings combined in it. There are two factions, which is led by Cartman, who's leading the humans, and you have Stan and Kyle, who are leading the uh, elves. And you start off on Cartman's side, and you're basically just trying to retrieve the stick of truth, and you're kind of jumping back and forth between forces. And then something significant happens, and that really is where the main plot starts to really pick up. I mean, generally, it is about retrieving the stick of truth, but there's an alien invasion thrown in the mix, and that kind of takes up probably the second half of the game, and then the game kind of reminds you that, yeah, it is about the stick. I have to tell you guys right now that I absolutely love this game. From beginning to end, there was not a single slow moment, except probably near the end, and there were so many references to the show that if you are a fan of the South Park television show, or more closely based, if you're a big fan of the South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut movie, you need to pick up this game. This is not the type of game that you rent. This isn't the type of game that you borrow from a friend for a couple of days. This is the type of game that you own because you are going to enjoy every single second of it. Now, going into gameplay, it does play like a traditional JRPG, which was, was a bit surprising to me when I first heard that it was going to be done in this style. And it's unquestionably the best RPG of its kind that I've played since Nino Kuni, and that says something. The overall visual look is just astonishing that it looks nearly identical to the actual show itself to the point where a couple of people who were actually watching me play a couple times they were having trouble noticing whether it was the actual show itself like while I was playing they actually thought it was a show and when you can actually mix the cutscenes and the gameplay and mend them together flawlessly I think that is just amazing game skills to its peak. I would even say it's on par with some even AAA titles. So that was a, a major compliment for uh, Obsidian Studios. Also, uh, just like the accessory section, you can equip any type of clothes that you want. You can equip weapons. There are a lot of perks that you can gain. Uh, you can go around the town. You can travel all throughout South Park. The entire town is recreated masterfully. And so there are certain places that, you know, you've seen in the show that you can gently visit. And then you can actually know exactly where certain locations are from certain other locations, which is something I didn't quite know before, which actually kind of gives me a better understanding of certain locations of where the characters are going to be traveling throughout the show and just how far they are from, like, certain other locations. Um... If you've played RPGs, anything you could expect in an RPG is present in this game. And that is something that I did not expect to see in a South Park RPG-like game. It's kind of reminiscent of something like Paper... No, not Paper Mario. It's like Mario RPG. If some of you guys have played it, it's a lot like that. Now, it's not to say that this game is perfect. I did have a couple of flaws with it. For starters, I didn't like how you could only have one partner character, and I believe there's five of them, which you can team up with Cartman, Stan, Kenny, or Princess Kenny, Butters, which I use Butters the most, he was definitely my favorite person to team up with, and, uh, I think Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy. Uh, they all have special abilities, but... I just would have liked to have at least three characters. I mean, just having one, it does limit your options. Now, the second problem I had was I just did not like how the leveling system is capped off at level 15. And once you really reach level 15, which you can actually match, max at your character about halfway through the game, then regardless of the difficulty that you set it at, any other battle that you enter is going to be relatively easy. I didn't really find myself having much difficulty, even with boss fights. Uh, another serious problem that I really did not like was the summonings. The summonings are very cool and entertaining, but the fact that you can only use them once per day, and I believe this game takes place over a course of three days, so if there's a certain summoning that you want to use, like for example, uh, you could have Mr. Slave come out of nowhere and shove someone up his ass, but you can only use it once. So a maximum throughout this game, you can only use that ability 
three times, and they even tell you when you even get the summoning that you can't use it during boss fights. And so it made it kind of pointless to even have summonings because you are so incredibly powerful when you max at your character halfway through the game that you never, never have to use a summoning. I believe that probably somewhere late in the game there was only one scenario that I had to use a summoning simply because I was taking on like three bears, two wolves, and a couple of snakes where I was just completely out outnumbered and I needed like just a quick win. And I think it's those type of limitations that really kind of hold the game back from being something just truly unbelievable. But despite despite those flaws, <laughs> despite those flaws, this is still a highly entertaining game and I absolutely remember it. Dang, I'm so I'm I'm so pumped up from this game from just beating it that I can't even talk straight. I would absolutely recommend that all of you guys go out there and pick up this game and I hope that they come up with a second one soon. So if I have to get this game a rating, I would absolutely give it a nine out of ten. Definitely pick this up when you get a chance. Do not rent it, buy it. And if you like this game review, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check out my future movie, video game reviews, and topic videos like this one. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you next time.